Looking real good. My grandpa came up to me asking if I'd be interested because he thought I'd be good at it if I tried it and liked it. So he um, kind of got me started and taught me the basics and then slowly I kind of really learned to love doing it because it's something different and a lot of people think it's easy but I think after people do it they realize it's not very easy. I don't know, I really like it because it gives me something else to do during indoor track because running all year round, um, I don't want to say it gets tiring, but it is a lot of the same thing. So I like doing it because it kind of switches up my mindset and what I focus on during certain seasons. Two of the main rules is you have to always have contact with the ground. So you, at running at any point basically is illegal and also um, you can't have your knees bent when you're going through to walk. So people might think like, oh, you're just walking, but if you don't walk normally with your legs straight going through, it's not quite the same. And um, it's kind of a shin workout too, because you always have to keep your heels up and your toes high. Basically, you can either race walk or you can't. Uh, it's, I can tell in five, 10 minutes whether it's worth a kid's time. And if you put a good athlete in the race walk, which many people don't, you'll get a good race walker. She has good genes. Both her parents were star athletes, you know, and genes help. You know, her dad was a great long distance swimmer. He's in the Hall of Fame at MCC, and so, you know, and her mom was a numerous uh, champion, so in, in race walking, and also a good runner. Right now, I think I'm just gonna kind of keep doing it because I love it and see where it takes me in high school then to follow to college if I decide to take that route.